Just like us, insects breathe in the oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. They just do it a little bit differently. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. G'day there, this is Bug Basics number four, how do insects breathe? We breathe in and out through our nostrils or our mouths and the air passes through our trachea into our lungs uh, where oxygen diffuses into our bloodstream and carbon dioxide is removed from our bloodstream. Insects don't breathe through their mouth parts. Air typically enters their respiratory systems through a series of external openings known as spiracles. I have indicated their presence on one side by these blue arrows. There is a corresponding set on the other side. The spiracles, which open and close like valves, lead to an internal respiratory system which is basically a network of tubes known as trachea. The internal tracheal system carries oxygen directly to an insect's tissues, even out along the wings and the legs. And the tracheal system removes carbon dioxide and it is expelled back out through the spiracles. Spiracles are easily seen in large caterpillars. The spiracles on this emperor gum moth larva are the light brown oval shaped structures. Here you can see there is one spiracle on each abdominal segment, but only one thoracic segment has a spiracle. Insects don't necessarily have spiracles on all their thoracic and abdominal segments. And if they do have them, there is always only one pair per segment. Spiracles are also visible on moth pupae because oxygen has to get in and carbon dioxide has to get out of pupae or else metamorphosis won't take place. Spiracles are much more difficult to see on some adult insects though. The insect might be covered in hairs or scales or the spiracles might be hidden under uh, wing covers or something like that, or even in between segments. Where do you reckon the spiracles are on this bird wing butterfly? I'll look forward to your answers in the comments below. What about the insects that live underwater? Some aquatic larvae, like mosquito larvae, basically have snorkels, or technically known as a siphon, so they can breathe air at the water surface. Mosquito larvae do have gill-like structures, but these are actually known as papillae, which are to do with ion regulation, basically, and water uptake. Nothing to do with the respiratory system. Some adult insects, like water scorpions and the needle bug here, have very long breathing tubes, so they can breathe air while underwater. Have a close look at this insect. What else can you see on it? I look forward to your answers. Other aquatic insects carry their air supply with them, kind of like an aqualung. And it's basically um, an air bubble like attached to their body very closely or trailing behind them as a single bubble. Insects like diving beetles and whirligig beetles, there's my terrible photo of one, um, and water boatmen and, and so forth do this when they um, dive underwater. And some um, spiders can do the same thing, take an air supply um, down with them. Other aquatic insects have gills, and these gills are usually located somewhere along their abdomen, but not always. The nymphs of dragonflies have gills inside their rectums and breathe through their anus. There are several jokes I can make here, but I won't. Damselfly nymphs have three long gills, clearly visible, extending from the tip of their abdomen. The larvae of some species of coronamid midges are called bloodworms because they are bright red in colour and they contain haemoglobin. Bloodworms usually live in uh, tube-like burrows in the debris at the bottom of ponds and streams. The haemoglobin allows them to absorb and store oxygen from low oxygen water. Bloodworms and other coronamid larvae don't have spiracles or gills. They rely on diffusion of oxygen through their exoskeletons into their tracheal system. This is known as cuticular respiration. Other insects, such as biting midges and some caddisflies, have a similar respiratory system. Springtails have no tracheal system at all. 
So no spiracles, no trachea, no tubes, no gills. So how do they breathe? They depend on cuticular respiration, i.e. diffusion through the exoskeleton, and the oxygen and carbon dioxide is transported through the body by the circulation system. I will definitely make the circulatory system the topic of the next Bug Basics. Meanwhile, stay tuned for my next video, which will be a story about a common but very interesting native insect. Thanks for watching.